Philip Taylor Kramer, or Taylor, as he later went on to be known as in life, was born July 12, 1952. He was six foot five, 200 pounds, with sandy blonde hair and blue eyes. He is most notoriously known for having played bass in the band Iron Butterfly, convincing the band to get back together after initially breaking up in 1972. The band members credit him with motivating them to record again. After the band dissolved for the final time, he later on moved to computer engineering. Having had an interest in science, which he got from his father, a physics professor, Taylor Kramer eventually gained an electrical engineer degree and worked as a contractor for the Department of Defense. Taylor's sister, Kathy, noted that he obtained his degree at a time where aerospace was booming. Taylor later went on to work on the MX missile. In 1990, Kramer co-founded the company Total Multimedia Inc. with Randy Jackson, Michael Jackson's brother, and founded Soft Video Inc. In 1994, Kramer's companies went bankrupt and were reorganized, causing emotional distress. Before going missing, Kramer told his wife that he was working on a project that would take a missing child's picture and find them in groups of thousands of people. He had also been working on a project where messages could be sent through. On February 11, 1995, Kramer and his wife went on a hike where she noted that he had great amounts of energy. He pointed out a cross on a hill, telling her that their house was on its path. With other bizarre behavior, she attributed to sleep deprivation. In an interview with Taylor's sister, she stated that Kramer hadn't slept in about 10 days to two weeks before his disappearance. On February 12th, Kramer left his home around 9 a.m. to visit his father-in-law, and after that, he went to LAX to pick up a business associate. Once he arrived at the airport, he waited for 25 minutes and then left for no known reason. While no one had seen Kramer at LAX, a parking record proved that he was there. Taylor signed an IOU to pay the $3 fee, which he didn't have with him, then drove away. He drove north towards his home. During this time, over the course of about 45 minutes, he made several phone calls. Kramer called his wife, father, friends, and best friend Bushy, Ron Bush. At 11.59 a.m., Kramer called 911. He proceeded to tell 911 his name and that he was going to kill himself. Taylor's father, Ray, stated that people had been giving Taylor problems before and wanted what he was doing. Taylor told his father, if I ever say I'm going to kill myself, don't believe it. I'm going to be needing Taylor did not leave a suicide note, and he went missing for four years until his body was found in 1999. The FBI believed that Kramer committed suicide, while his family believed otherwise. Taylor's father stated, he did a thousand sit-ups a day. No one commits suicide, but does a thousand sit-ups first. When Kramer disappeared, there were multiple eyewitnesses that stated that they had seen him in various areas, such as parks and a garage sale. Allegedly, two weeks after his disappearance, on February 28th, 
Kramer made one last call to his family, where all he said was, Hello? Hello? On May 29, 1999, two photographers slash hikers found the remains of Philip Taylor Kramer in a canyon not far off from the airport. His remains were inside his van, and dental records proved beyond doubt that the body was Kramer's. Taylor's sister listed her doubts that he killed himself, stating that the cliff was not a suicide cliff, as other people such as teens that stole a car, drove off the cliff, and survived with a few scratches. 